To share a lesson group, what we want to do is first navigate to the week in the top right here. And we'll look for the share option in the top where it says share to resources. Selecting this option will first prompt us to select a subject to share. We're going to select our math morning block. We then can select units. If we're using units, you can use that as a filtering tool. We then have the start and end dates that we want to be looking at. So right now we're looking at the week of September 10th where there's only one lesson. So we can't technically create a lesson group with only one lesson. What we want to do is adjust the start and end dates here to include the previous week as well. So once we adjust the start date to September 3rd, we can see how we have all these different lessons throughout the week. However, we didn't actually update the titles. So we can actually quickly do that right here by clicking in and adjusting the titles. As we're doing this, it will automatically make the updates within Chalk for us. So we don't have to go back and make other changes. Everything is consistent based on the edits that we're making here. Once we've gone through and made those changes, we can also preview the lessons to make sure that they're actually what we anticipate. And if the lesson isn't one that we want to include in this lesson group, we can simply turn that off from the group. So right now there are six lessons and we've unselected two of them. So this lesson group will actually only have four lessons in it. The last thing we want to do before we officially create this lesson group is update the title here. And the title should typically represent what that lesson group is. So here we have the subject, may not necessarily need it to say morning block. We can go ahead and say lessons for the date range. So instead of saying it's for the week of September 3rd, we can change it for September 3rd to September 10th. And this should ideally give us enough information or more importantly, our colleagues enough information to know what this lesson group is before they go and import it into their plan board account. Once this has been created, we'll go ahead and click share and we'll be brought back to the same screen we saw earlier where we simply enter our colleagues or our own name to share that lesson group. And once you've done that, you can click share. And this is now something that's accessible to you when you go to import lessons.